All right, good morning, guys. So, uh, a video that I wanted to make this yesterday, but I had to be 100% sure, so I had to contact the dealership to confirm this, but I saw some videos and some people having confusion that when you start your truck, and not, not with just Tundras, but even with the new electronic system with the key fobs and the smart connect thing, you know, your profile's not loading when you come in the car. And, you know, there's supposed to be a way that you have your profile set up to your key fob, and there's a way to do this, and it's very simple. Um, and it's honestly, it's the easy fix to the profile problem not loading. So the first thing you do, like I have Android Auto. So if you don't have Android Auto or Apple Play, that's fine. So you're gonna basically see your default screen. So right now it's got my profile already loaded. Um, and if you can do this through the several ways, like if you already have one or two profiles and you click the manual thing and it makes you enter the pin number, whatever you need to do to get to this screen, get there. So then once you go to your settings, go right here to personal info, and then right here, link key. And all you need to do, I just hold it in my hands for the video purpose, but slide that over. And supposedly, that action right there is linking this key to your profile. Uh, it doesn't give you any confirmation that this happened just besides that. Uh, I wish it did. Like I wish it would show you different things like you go in there to make sure because you know what happens if I have both key fobs. I'm a, I mean, I don't have anybody else driving my truck so technically both keys should load my profile but it's uh, this is just the way it's done right now. Now I talked to the dealership yesterday and Toyota has said that sometime in February there is a pretty solid update coming to the computer systems, specifically for the Toyota stuff. The Android Auto and the Apple Play, that's not going to really change because that's third-party stuff, and that's going to rely on those companies to make changes. But the Toyota default system itself, what we're looking for here, this is going to get an update because people are having some issues with here. And like I just showed you, the different profiles, the key loading, just there's just little minor nuances that are becoming difficult and people are upset about. And I don't blame them. It took me... I mean, I've had my truck almost four days now, and I've had some issues. And I'm, I'm slowly working through them day by day. But it kind of feels like I shouldn't have to, and you shouldn't either. You pay this much for a vehicle. The stuff should be a pretty easy setup. And frankly, I feel like this is something they should do at the dealership. Um, when I bought my truck, no one walked me through it. They just handed me the keys and said, congratulations, thank you for all your money. Uh, have a nice day. Like, you no, know, here's, a, here's a little pamphlet. Where was it? You know, I got this little thing, little pamphlet showing you how to hook things up. Um, and that was it. So I didn't have any help learning anything. So YouTube and other stuff. So I want to make sure I can show you guys that's the easiest way and really the only way I know how to to get your key fob loaded up. So now I'll go ahead and show you. We'll turn the vehicle off. Give it a few seconds. back on and right there so because my key fobs in it's automatically loading my Toyota and then because my phone's in here it's loading my Android Auto and boom no more issues so do that and you guys shouldn't have any issues as well it took me a few hours to figure this out now, the only part I haven't figured this out yet, and this is where I'm hoping the vehicle update and the phone app, but when you go into your Toyota app on your phone, and I'm going into your profile and it's under security settings, right here at the bottom it says, let me see if you guys can see it, your saved profile, that bottom option, you click that and it says your profile has not been saved on any vehicles. Now this I don't understand because clearly my profile is saved to my truck and it's the only Toyota vehicle that I own um, and it just doesn't show up here on my phone app, which I think is sort of concerning because it's like, well, I need to, all the safety and security issues between your app and the truck that's supposed to, or the vehicle, which is supposed to be synced and it's not showing up on my phone app. So that's kind of concerning. Now going back to everything, you know, my vehicle shows up that's no problem. I can still control the vehicle from the app, no problem. But I still don't understand why this truck is not registered under my account. And I can't find, even while I'm making this video, I've spent 20 minutes sitting in this truck burning gas trying to figure out how to make that happen. So if you guys know how to do that, send me a comment below because I would really appreciate that because I can't seem to figure that out.
Uh, so I hope this, you know, four minute video helps you guys out. So any questions, comments, leave them below, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much guys.